When I woke up the next day, the first thing I noticed was a lack of pain in my eye jaw. Yes! I just finished getting ready when the dawn for announcement rang out. Good morning! I know some people are still abuzz over yesterday's events, but I ask that everyone put that aside to focus on today's task. I think everyone will enjoy, if not the task, then the scenery of today's events. That's right, today's tasks are all outdoor tasks. One of my staff will lead you to your team's starting point. That's all. Good luck. Outdoor sounds like fun. I went my door to see a man waiting outside. If you follow me, we can go to where your teammates are waiting. I follow him through the corridors and now of the mansion. A blast of cold air had me rubbing my arms around myself. It snowed last night? It would seem that way, wouldn't it? He led me to where Mr. Wolf, Mr. Bandages and the cow were already assembled. The man pulled an envelope from his coat pocket and handed it to me. This is your clue. Breakfast should be along shortly. Having said that, he bowed and left. It wasn't even a minute before another man was wheeling a breakfast car towards us. Miss Archer, how are you feeling today? Much better. The age in my jaw is completely gone. That's good to hear. What's the clue say? We'll get to that after we eat, the food won't stay hot for long in this weather. The sooner we get it done, the sooner we can get back inside where it's warm. Food first. Fine! <clears throat> Once we finish eating, I open the envelope and pull out the clue. A glass of wind almost ripped it from my hands, but I held on. This wind is really strong. The clue. Right, it says, find one standing dull and still, find another of same face and realize that nothing is identical. There's also this map. Let me see the old. He snatched it out of my hand. They can't snatch it back. With all due respect, I don't trust with our only map. My navigational skill will probably be far more helpful yet. Can I see it? Of course. They can't hand it over easily. You trust him with it and not me? Yes. Why you... How about I decide who should keep them up? I'm the leader after all. That's a splendid idea. Yeah. You should decide. He handed the map back to me. I think... I sneezed stopping me... I sneezed stopping me from voicing my decision. It's freezing out here. Oh. Jump into my arms, I'll warm you up. <laughs> I look at him questioningly for a moment. Sure, why not? Cute. I wrap my arms around his waist and press his and press close, trying to absorb as much warmth from him as I could. I didn't actually expect that to work. Don't be foolish. We can't have you stick into summer throughout the game just because you're cold. It will slow us down. Well, we can't just leave her to freeze. Yeah, I will over to trade costumes. But I know. Here, Miss Archer, you can use my cape. I look so vampiric, cool, Archer, hardcore, crazy hipster thingy. Yes, I do. I do look just like that. He quickly removed his cape and helped me put it on. Let's just get on with this game. Is that jealousy I detect? 
What do I have to be jealous of? Well, for one thing, you're still freezing. I had to put up with worse than this for on location shoots. Let's just get this over with already. Ah, right. Miss Archer, you are going to say who should keep the map. Right, I think Miss the the Count. The Count. Thank you for placing your faith in me. I won't let you down. The Count looked at the map for a moment before setting off at a sedate pace. We had no choice but to follow him. It looks like there's something located close to here. If we follow the creek, we shall get to it with no problems. Mr. Bandages looked over at the Count's shoulder at the map. Are you sure that's a creek? Yes. Please, don't try to take an impromptu swim in it. I don't think the doctor would be very happy if you had a relapse. We all followed the cow until we reached a small creek. He even froze the creek. He? You mean... Eric? You didn't honestly think this was natural, did you? Even the trees all stripped off their leaves and they were fine before. So, this cold and snow is all artificial? Why would he do that and then give us an outdoor dusk? Everything is so pretty covered in snow, isn't it? It looks so much cleaner, pure even. I guess so. Let's just keep moving. Artificial cold is still cold. Kippy! I really like the design, so cool, it's so cute. We trek on and found ourselves faced with a white statue of Kippy! <coughs> Kippy again? Again? Yeah, the sliding bustle from the first act was of Kippy. Well, Eric does have ties to keep her in. And Kippy is cute! Found one standing tall and still. Do you think the clue refers to this statue? It says find another, so there's probably another statue for us to find as well. Probably, hmm, look like there's an inscription down here. He dusted the snow that was covering the inscription before reading it out loud. The twins they stood side by side and no one could tell them apart, and so they fell with lingering sadness. If others could not see what's inside, they would have to change that on the outside. On the outside? Maybe it's a reference to the clothes and ornaments, the normal Kibi doesn't have those. Yeah, so they changed the clothes and ornaments on the statues so people could tell them apart. Seems like it. We need to see the second statue to be sure though. So where is this second statue? Wait, is that... I brushed some of the snow near the inscription of and fold a half board piece of paper. I quickly dug it out. Looks like we have another map. Count? I think it will be safest in your hands. But of course. He looked at the map before walking off, leaving the rest of us to follow. A sudden gust of wind had my grip on the cape tightening. Ah! I turned the count just in time to see him slap a hand over one of his eyes. What? What happened? One of my contacts fell out. We could help you look, but with all the snow... It's fine. I carry spares with me. He turned his back towards us to... To put his contacts back on. Why all this accuracy with your eye color? You want to talk, Mr. I'll bandage my head during a fire alarm even though everyone can see my hair color. <laughs> and this glare, shut your mouth. <laughs> Beautiful. Blue is pretty common anyway. Just look at mine. The 
counter back to as once he replaced his missing contact lens. 